Welcome everybody, it's Rose Smith here from AbsoluteSoulSecrets.com and I'm here with the October Pick a Card Monthly Tarot. Sorry, I should just warn you about my throat, it's not great at the moment. Okay, uh, so it's really simple, just pick a number now between 1 and 5 and I'll do a Psychic Tarot interpretation for you. Okay, so you can pick more than one number if you wish. If you pick five numbers, then it'll be very interesting, won't it? You'll have a lot to think about. Uh, and if you're new, subscribe and be alive and hit that notification bell right now. Okay, let's go to the board and have a look what the cards have to say for October. All right, so we're doing card number one. Now, I like to close my eyes first. Uh, I just see this dove straight away. <laughs> As soon as I uh, close my eyes, now, okay, now it's starting. There's the color purple, so it's quite a spiritual time. If you've picked card number one, you could be more focused on your uh, spirituality, watching your dreams, uh, structuring in some time for meditation, perhaps. Let's see what card comes up for you. Uh, the King of Wands, feeling quite motivated and inspired. You can get a lot done. You'll see here the crown on his head. Uh, so this is about the crown chakra opening up. You can't actually see it on the monitor very clearly or on your device. Uh, most probably, I think not. Uh, there's some little green buds there, basically, saying that there's new growth around the energy coming into the crown chakra. These sunflowers here relate to the sun, of course, bringing insight and awareness and um, even, you know, stability, happiness, uh, things are going uh, swimmingly. Uh, and uh, there's a lot of growth here because he's wearing green. He's got his pet lizard down the bottom here. His feet on the ground because he's practical and he's seated on a wooden uh, throne because he's practical. This lizard is all about uh, natural instincts, listening to those. So that's important. And... Uh, on the um, the end result is taking action and getting a lot of growth but it's like the amalgam of different energies from different chakras uh, that is making him uh, feel really inspiring um, uh, feeling really inspired and being inspiring uh, motivating other people uh, probably uh, at the same time uh, so it's usually somebody um, who's quite uh, honest and conscientious and very spiritually aware. But he's still, he's a king, he's in control of his life. So that's card number one. You can avail yourself of that energy. Uh, maybe you'll meet someone like that. If not, uh, do some meditation, get in touch, find it within. Because all of these energies are within all of us. Okay, so card number two. I'm walking up a big mountain, hiking up a big mountain. I come to, there's a sort of path in front of me. There's a lot of cloud here. It's quite a sheer drop, you know, so I have to be a bit cautious here. But there's a sharp turn to the left. I can't see when it goes around the corner what that actually means. But I can tell you that a sharp turn to the left means get in touch with your feminine side. Concentrate on being... Uh, rather than doing, uh, concentrate on receiving uh, rather than giving. It's, it's like you're being more receptive to spirit uh, in October if you've picked card number two. Okay, it's the Knight of Cups. All about your emotions. It's also about going out and having a fun time, uh, experimenting a bit, exploring your emotions, how you feel, uh, getting in touch with what's going on deep inside. This is like a young masculine energy. It might be like somebody's son. Uh, or maybe you'll meet somebody like this. Uh, but um, it's quite, I, I believe it's quite a favourable card. Uh, it's, um, it brings confidence. It brings like a, an invitation to a new beginning. Being in touch with the subconscious. But yeah, go out. Have a fun time. Call a halt at a reasonable time. You know, don't. It's not a time for going overboard, but it is a time for you to enjoy yourself. If you pick card number two, 
All right, card number three. Card number three. Let's see what comes up. Close my eyes. Hmm. I'm seeing a cup here uh, and somebody putting their hands. It's actually like a um, baptismal font, putting their hands into it. Uh, and so this could be some sort of baptism, uh, some sort of initiation type process that you go through if you've picked card number three. Uh, and um, uh, I'll take that one. Um, uh, yeah, and a new beginning that is associated with that. You go through this initiation process and you come out the other side being different. Uh, it might be a good time to spend time on your own uh, this month a bit more than you normally would uh, so you can reflect on what's going on within. Uh, it's very difficult if you're a mother. This card is all about motherhood. Uh, but also nurturing, kindness. It's very difficult to find time to spend on your own, especially if you've got little children here. Uh, or perhaps if you don't have children, then it can be about the inner child, getting in touch with your inner child. But you'll need to spend time on your own uh, initially, maybe just to sort that out in your mind and then go out and have some fun as well. Uh, but this is about caring for other people. Just make sure you care uh, enough for yourself as well. Uh, you could entertain at home. It's all about home and half as well. Card number four. Card number four. What do I see? Hmm. Uh, I see a baby swing. I think it's relating to this though. Uh, a baby swing rocking back and forth. This baby swing. Um, yeah, so it could be somebody that maybe you need to care for at a, at a higher level uh, than you anticipated. They need more care, more attention uh, than what you thought. Now I'm seeing a piano playing, uh, you know, and it's going quite quickly. The song, the music's going very quickly. So do watch your time management as well if you've picked card number four. Card number four. Uh, and also they're saying it's not black and white. You know the keys are black and white, but life is not black and white. Here we have the Queen of Cups who um, is uh, uh, experiencing a lot of beautiful energies relating to her emotions. She's very much in touch with her emotions and her subconscious. And yet she's, she's seated right on the shoreline here so she she's got a sort of level of practicality around her she's grounded uh, even though she's right on the shoreline and there's the ocean just there the colors are blue and green the heart chakra the throat chakra expressing yourself you see she's seated on, sh on a shell here with a clam shell at the back um, and these birds are always about uh, looking at the big picture as well, uh, the Queen of Cups is often a very warm, affectionate sort of um, feminine type of uh, energy and uh, she has a lot of emotional depth, a lot of wisdom as well and she's quite um, uh, empathetic to other people, she's likely to help people so you may have someone uh, come into your life that can help you or you alternatively play that role for somebody else you help them in some way but it's a beautiful feeling uh, Carl Rogers the famous psychologist um, or says that uh, said that um, unconditional positive regard uh, is what is you know required especially um, in counseling or you know in the helping areas so you may play that role for somebody else or they unconditionally regard you very positively okay that's number four now number five card number five closing my eyes now what do I see see the ocean again the subconscious um, I wouldn't call it rough uh, but it's sort of brisk the waves coming in quite quickly you might get a lot of messages coming in from your um, subconscious Sorry, my throat's not right at the moment. Uh, and um, it's night time, but it's a very bright night. Uh, so it's probably a full moon uh, stirring things up. Uh, but 
it feels the temperature is beautiful it feels very comfortable and it's sort of a bit exciting you know it's like when you let your cats out at night they go all silly uh, it's a bit like that you know you get a bit excited uh, okay so let's have a look at the um, card that comes up the hangman okay so this is about um, waiting it's about being patient there's growth in this however because there's leaves here and um, here and here and uh, so growth can come from patience it's not that what you want won't happen uh, it's just that it won't happen immediately uh, so be patient the things will come at you know the right time divine timing and all of that she's got red legs because um, she wants to take action but it's not the right time so uh, this is sort of like the limbo uh, time between uh, zero and one it's like when you're pregnant but it's just before the birth and you're sort of ready saying get that baby out of me <laughs> that's a bit what this is like okay all right so that's it uh there are five cards so we've got wands cups 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 hangman so quite an emotional month coming up in october and that's pretty well in alignment uh, with the horoscopes as well so we have the solar eclipse in scorpio and there's a lot of planets going into scorpio uh, and so it does make for a quite an intense and emotional time okay so won't happen overnight uh, but things will happen and uh, I say I think the best advice would be generally for people just to slow down uh, not push yourself and you know spend some time um, you know reflecting on your life and what you want to achieve alrighty so that's it everybody I hope this is useful for you. Please let me know in the comments. Share on your socials. That would be fabulous. Uh, most importantly, have a fabulous month. I know you will. Okay, thanks and bye for now. Thanks so much for watching. Please visit my website, absolutesoulsecrets.com for all things spiritual. Have a lovely day.